Hello everybody, uh, I'm actually on the freeway now, so position my camera so you can look out my driver's win side window to uh, see the Pennsylvania scenery. And you might see some of our lovely orange cones in a minute. Uh, I don't know. Oh, it's like you can't see them very well. Oh, there's always a lot of road construction in Pennsylvania. But, um... I actually wanted to share with a conversation I had with the pastor about a month ago. Um, he asked me where I was going to church, and um, yeah, I mean, there's somewhere I'm going to church on Sunday. Um, I don't like all the teaching there, but they seemed open hearted enough, so I'm going to uh, share stuff with the pastors and if you'll continue listening and growing and see the truth and I'll stay if not I will just move on he goes okay and um, I didn't say all that but um, quite frankly there's no church in my town where I like the teaching at all um, I never even told him that but um, and then he asked how I'm getting involved, and I said teaching, and I kind of said, well, I haven't been teaching yet, so, um, but yeah, that conversation disturbed me on so many levels because it's this mentality that our goal in life is to do for God, and you have to get involved in a church and uh you know um you know identify me based on how i can help out the church well no my uh, identity is a son of god first and foremost now out of that as the god as god's love builds up in me you know i look for ways to love other people and i can say well i got this teaching ministry well i got this teaching gift so I can uh, share the Word of God with people and explain it to people which is the, why I'm doing this video but you know even if you have a certain desire to love people a certain way it doesn't have to be with a church you know it could be you could decide to go out and do more in the community and you, if you do absolutely nothing that's not bad. God doesn't demand you do anything. In fact, um, when um, yeah, when God said, "This is my son in whom I am pleased," God, when He said that to Jesus, Jesus hadn't even done any ministry. In fact, I will go to say, if you have a person who sits his butt every week, does nothing but receives more revelation of the love of God. He is a lot, he is a lot more mature, a lot wiser than someone who keeps doing stuff to help in the church because that's what he's supposed to do. Um, and part of what disturbed, part of what was troubling about it is having a teaching gift is a rough thing. Now, like, obviously God doesn't give anything, um... Uh, bad like it's a teaching gift in and of itself is not evil but we live in a world full of sin and death so it can take something good and corrupt it and I've got and it actually produces a lot of uh, weight you know to see these false doctrines in the church the negative effects of these false doctrines, uh, I think deeply about everything, problems in the church, uh, church history. I've actually, I have to confess, I've kind of made Augustine um, a bit of a scapegoat for why the uh, church today is so messed up. Um, I know. Um, but you know, it's a lot of ways to you know, I, I need to spend more time with God to, uh, you know, work weed out my heart and, 
you know, so I can, even when I'm dealing with this stuff and uh, sharing the Word of God, the weight of everything, uh, I mean, even if it's in my mind, it, you know, it doesn't get to me, uh, just from spending time with God. And that's the, I don't want to run over, um, I don't want to bulldoze over people. Like, I'm very, tell it like it is, but I want to do it out of love. And I know if I run over people and just like be mean and nasty, that's not me. That's just my flesh. Um, so yeah, with the teaching, like especially a teaching gift, there's such thing as waiting to grow before you use your gift. And I need to grow more before I talk to even more people with the Word of God. So for now, I'm uh, just happy uh, posting stuff online, like this video, uh, letting a few people, um, letting a few people look at it. Probably not many people will see this, but that's okay if it blesses people. Yeah, I mean, if the Word of God's going out, so uh, I can just be happy that the Word of God's going out. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of what I wanted to say. Uh, just my thoughts on the conversation I had uh, a few months ago, actually. I was like, right at the end of um, I think it was in August because uh, Penn State was holding, well, was it both, no, it was right around the start of the Penn State semester, and I, I live right by Penn State, so, um, but yeah, it's just that whole conversation where I just get identified by what I can do for a church, I mean, that's just not who I am, you know, I mean, do I have a desire? Yes, uh, do I need to let God grow me? Uh, yeah, I need to let God grow me, work on my heart. Yeah, I just say, God, God, I'd like, I have a desire to do more. I know there's stuff in my heart that uh, needs to be weeded out. Uh, it's not anything wrong with me, but uh, yeah, just some false beliefs. And um, and if you don't really do any ministry in a church, okay. Um, but yeah, and at the time, I was actually going through some serious porn withdrawal, too. And, you know, um, a whole lot of other crap. So, um, you know, last thing I want to do, last thing, I, you know, last thing I wanted to do was, you know, talk about where I can minister and let these uh, other issues be dealt with. Um, I think that actually had to be needed to be dealt with first, um, which I think I'm actually, I'm in a season. Which, with that, I've stopped porn. Um, but I'm in a season of God's really learned, teaching me that, you know, when I have nobody else, I have Him. Um, so even if I'm isolated and have very few close relationships, I still have Him. And I think that's kind of what the fuel is. Um, there's some other stuff. But yeah, that's going well. Um, in that area, I'm seeing a lot of fruit. Uh, but yeah, uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed my little talk on um, this conversation uh, I had with that pastor. Um, happen to know the church is at uh, is kind of obsessed with large ministry, so it uh, manipulates people. It preaches sermons about doing so they can manipulate people to help you build up their ministry. Uh, I'm James M. Tuttle, and that's just how it is.